I wanted to take you along with me as I do my once a week cleaning. I've actually already recorded myself cleaning. I just didn't get a chance that day to explain a couple things at the beginning, so I'll just make it really quick. Every time I do my once a week cleaning, I always start by getting dressed and everything. I do my daily cleaning routine first, and that way the house is all picked up, and you'll see as I show you um, how I clean. So I'm not stopping to organize a drawer or something like that. And the way that I like to think of it as um, if a cleaning lady came to your house, she isn't going to be cleaning out your drawer. She's not going to be um, stopping to answer the phone and things like that. She's there and she moves fast and she gets her cleaning done in probably like an hour to an hour and a half. If she has helpers, it might take her less time, but usually we're the only ones cleaning our house, right? So that is kind of my approach. My house is already straightened up and I just um, move fast when I'm cleaning. And you'll see the um, way that I clean, but I started doing this when my kids were little and it takes me so much less time to clean my house this way. The day that I recorded myself cleaning, I um, was working in my at my kids' school for a few hours and I got home and I only had two hours to clean my whole house and record myself, which made it take a little longer. So usually it takes me about an hour and a half. So um, I always set that, side, that time aside and work fast and I can get it done. I do recommend cleaning your house every week, even though it might not look really dirty, but once you start dusting and things, you'll see that your house is actually dirty. And if you do it once a week, it won't build up and be so overwhelming. And that way your house will um, stay nice and clean. So what I always do is start in the same spot, just like I do my daily routine. Start, I just grab my rag and my furniture polish and I spray a little bit on and I just go along this trim right here and dust it because this actually gets really dusty. I go down this side really fast. I don't take a long time to do it. And it's just a week's worth of dust, so it's not super dusty. And I just go and I clean this mirror. I go up the stairs. I always do the room in the same order. I'll dust this ledge, dust that really fast, dust this, dust the mirror, the dresser, move over and do the nightstand over there, the nightstand over here, then I'll do my desk, and then I'll do these shelves and this TV, and then I'm going to go back down the stairs and do the family room. So dusting my room just took a couple minutes, and then I come down and I'm in my front room, and I start in the same spot and work my way around the room and back out again, and I always do this, and it saves so much time. So I'm going to dust this vase here, dust some of the things on the wall, and then I'm going to dust the things on this table, this uh, lamp and the shelves here, and then I move around the room and dust, you know, the things on the wall, the table, the picture frames and shelves here, and then I go into my son Joshua's room over here. So I'm just I'm working my way around the room, moving quickly, and I don't have to drag everything into each room because I just have my dust rag and my furniture polish and I just do it really fast. So dusting the front room literally took about two minutes and if you do this every week there isn't going to be a ton of dust so you can do it fast without missing anything because there isn't going to be a huge accumulation of dust but doing it once a week will keep your house nice and clean and save a lot of work for you. So I come into my son Joshua's room and again I work my way around the room and back out again. So I just dust the things on the walls here, the things on the bookshelves, his dresser and lamp there, and then I just dust around the uh, picture frame here and then just move over here and dust his desk a little bit and move my way out of the room. This room really takes about a minute to dust. Now I just moved over to my son Christian's room and again I'm just going to dust his dresser and the picture frames on his dresser and things and then the picture frames on the wall and then the things on his nightstand, his bookcase and his desk here and just work myself out of the room again. The next room is the bathroom. So I've already done my daily cleanup of the bathroom. 
So again, I just dust around the mirror here and around the light fixtures because they get dusty pretty quickly in the bathroom. I'm not sure why. And then I just um, kind of dust around these uh, towel holders. Those also get dusty. It might just be because they're darker and they show. And then I just dust the front of my cabinet and then my medicine cabinet here and the little things above. That really takes, you know, one minute. The next room is the kitchen, and again, it doesn't have dishes piled in that I need to stop and do or anything because I've done my nighttime routine and my um, daily routine, and that way all the dishes are in the dishwasher, and I just need to do dusting and mopping really in here and a little bit of cleaning on the front of the stove and the dishwasher. So since I'm dusting right now, I will just dust some of the things on the wall here and over here. And then I'll just work my way around and dust some things on the countertops just very quickly. They don't get very dusty because I dust them once a week. And then I dust the clock over there and then I move over and dust um, the things on the wall there and there. And I also take everything off the table and use the furniture polish on the table just because it makes it nice and shiny. That takes a little bit of time, but really only a couple minutes. And I just move fast so I can get it done pretty quickly. Okay, so I dusted everything in the kitchen. It just took a few minutes. And then I'm going to work myself down the stairs. And I just dust the things on the walls here. And then I also, hopefully you can see, okay, it's a little bit dark. Um, I also dust this trim here. It gets really dusty and along the trim there. A lot of the baseboards I have in my house as detailed cleaning and I just do those like on a six week rotation and I'm going to talk about that in future videos but some areas just get really dusty and here along the stairs is one spot that gets really dusty so I just do that really fast every week. So I work my way right down the stairs and then I um, start dusting in the basement. Okay, at the bottom of our basement stairs is my husband's office, and again, I just work myself around the room, and I dust the shelves just really fast, his desk. I do a light dusting of the bookcase, just the open areas, and I do have dusting the shelves as one of my detailed cleaning things, so it's not something that you need to do every week where you really, you know, dust the tops of all the books and things like that. So I do that as part of my detail cleaning. And then I dust around that clock there and the thing on the wall and then um, all of these shelves. And a lot of things are part of my detail cleaning. So I don't um, take out all of these, um, you know, boxes and things and dust really well. I just kind of do a light dusting and that's all that's really needed. I move over here and I dust the things on the walls, the things on the table there. I dust around the mirror and the things on the wall there. I'll dust the picture frames there, this vase, and then all along here. And again, just working my way around the room and then I'll dust the uh, TV and the TV stand. Next I just come into this bathroom down here and I just dust up here on this shelf and just dust these uh, vases here and there's really not much to dust in here. And then I'm done dusting. So again, I'm going to start upstairs in my room. I'm going to clean that mirror there first and again work my way around the room and just clean any mirrors or um, the glass of picture frames and things like that and really the... Um, that part of the routine really doesn't take long, probably about 10 minutes to do all of the glass in my whole house. And again, I move very fast. So I just start up here, I sprayed my rag already, and I just do it really fast, which I can't do as quickly with one hand. I'm going to do this mirror here, and then I just wipe the front of my alarm clock there. And then I move over and do my picture frames there and the TV. It really takes probably not even a minute if I just work really quickly. Okay, I'm back in my front room and I'm just going to clean the mirrors and the picture frames in this room. So I'll just, again, work my way around the room. I'll clean this mirror here and then this glass table and the picture frames and the uh, candle holder there. And then I'll just clean the glass on that clock. And then again, work my way around the room, picture frames over here, and the ones on these shelves, and just work myself out of the room, and next I'll be in my 
then Joshua is right. And here I'm just going to go around and do the picture frames really quickly. It doesn't even take a minute. And then I'm going to move into my son Christian's room. And I'll do the mirror here and the picture frames. That doesn't even take a minute, just really fast. I don't need to do the mirror in the bathroom because I did that as part of my daily routine. And then when I get in the kitchen, I'm going to do the front of the stove there. And I usually do this area too with window. And then over here, I'll just um, do the little picture frame there. And sometimes I wipe down the backsplash really quickly if there are just um, some watermarks or whatever. And then I do the front of the dishwasher, the clock, and then these mirrors here. And then I just work myself down the stairs. So I do all of that. It just takes a couple minutes. And I just do the glass here and then work myself down the stairs again. Go over and do this uh, table and picture frame, this mirror, the picture frames there and here. And then I will do the TV and the front of the cabinet. So again, I'm just working myself around the room and back out again. And the last spot that I clean is just really quickly the top of the washer and dryer just so that it doesn't get caked with detergent and things like that and that way it stays clean. Okay, so I put the rag that I was using to do the mirrors and the picture frames and things in the basket because I was downstairs in the laundry room when I finished and I put the Windex away and next I'm going to sweep my floors. I just have a Swiffer sweeper and I used um, just a microfiber cloth and clipped it in. And I'm going to start in my front room because there's carpeting upstairs. And I'm going to again work my way around the room and just dust this all around in the same air, same way that I clean everything is just um, all around the room and of course I'm going to do a better job once I turn off the camera and then I'm going to work myself out go in my son Joshua's room and again go around this way sweeping the floor over here and again working myself out and this just saves time because you're not backtracking then I'm going to do the hallway work myself into my son Christian's room and again around here I get under the beds really well all in there I just move stuff out of the way really fast because I do it every week it doesn't get extremely dusty under his desk and around here and then I go back downstairs then I come downstairs with my Swiffer sweeper and I just dust the floors really fast around here around the laundry area and everything um, because it gets really dusty down here and this just keeps it from building up and I already am using my Swiffer it just takes a couple minutes okay so I Swiffered all of my floors I did the laundry room floor really quickly I put my Swiffer sweeper back which I keep downstairs and I also put the cloth in the basket in the laundry room I ended in the laundry room again see it really makes sense because you're not backtracking you're just doing everything in order and you'll get your routine down of course your house is going to be different but if you just follow the same routine and maybe end in your laundry area with you know your dirty cloth and things you'll see that it, it takes so much less time so now I'm going to vacuum and although everything else I start in my room upstairs I do the vacuuming down here and the reason I do that is because this area needs to be vacuumed and then I vacuum up the stairs and go upstairs so it just um, works because I'm already going to grab the vacuum and have to carry it upstairs so um, it just works for me because I have to vacuum these stairs okay I'm back upstairs again I did the basement I vacuumed the laundry room rugs and worked myself up the stairs vacuuming the stairs and now I'm back upstairs I'm going to vacuum these stairs going up to my room again work myself around my room and come back down and I still vacuum my hardwood floors just because sometimes there are things that the Swiffer doesn't get so I just uh, vacuum around the floors really fast in all of the rooms in the same way and just work myself out of the room and then take the vacuum cleaner downstairs okay I took my vacuum cleaner downstairs and I emptied the canister right in the laundry room and put it back because the 
vacuum uh, stays in the laundry room and I grabbed my Rubbermaid Reveal mop and this is what I use to mop my floors. I did do a whole video on this so I'll link that below. I don't think it's a very long video. But I have one bottle that has Murphy's oil soap and water in it and another one with vinegar and water that I use to wash my tile floors. So I am again in my front room and I'm sure you can guess. I'm going to work my way around this front room, go into my son Joshua's room, the hallway in my son Christian's room, and wash my wood floors. And again, I just um, follow the same way around the room, working my way out. So my hardwood floors are nice and shiny and clean. And next, I'm going to start on the kitchen and bathroom. So I did all of my hardwood floors and then I just switched out the cleaning bottles. So now I have the one that has vinegar and water in it. And I'm going to do my kitchen floor first. Now I clean up my kitchen after dinner if you saw my daily routine. So I wipe down my counters, I sweep the floor. So I don't need to redo that because the kitchen is already pretty clean. I just um, dust in here. Uh, you know Windex the front of the stove and the dishwasher and things like that and then mop the floor and that's all I really have to do in the kitchen so I'm going to mop my floor in here so I got done washing my kitchen floor and now I'm in the bathroom and I did already wipe down the sink and the toilet I cleaned the mirrors and I've swept the floor so all I do in here on my a weekly cleaning day is put some toilet bowl cleaner into the toilet bowl. I spray down the shower and just um, wipe that out really well and wash the floor. So just very simple. It just takes a couple minutes and then I go downstairs and do the same thing in the bathroom down there. The last thing I need to do is clean the bathroom in the basement. And again, I've already done my daily routine. So I've cleaned the mirror. I've cleaned the sink and the toilet. I've just um, wiped those down. And I do use a daily shower spray and it's just vinegar, tea tree oil, and water. And I've shared that in my vinegar uses video and that's also what I use to um, wipe down the sink and everything. And it works really well. Vinegar is a great cleaner so I'll link that video below. And then the tea tree oil just disinfects everything. So I've been using that in the shower lately and trying to remember to spray it every day and it really keeps the soap scum down and just keeps it nice and shiny. So when I clean the shower, I just spray it again with that and this time I just scrub it. I usually use a magic eraser because I think that works really well, but sometimes I use just a nail brush. Um, just, you know, the brush that you would use to scrub your nails and I get in between the tiles, just any areas that might be a little extra dirty. And then I'm going to use the same um, mop and cleaner, the vinegar and water, and just mop the floor really quickly and then I'll be done. I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions at all, feel free to comment below. I did want to leave you with a couple tips that I um, used when my kids were little. I know it's hard to clean a house, especially when you're moving all around and you might have a baby or a toddler. Um, what I did, I cleaned while my kids were sleeping and then I just vacuumed while they were awake. And that way I could get it done. And because it only takes like an hour to an hour and a half, um, I felt like I was I was okay to start at like 8 o'clock when they were in bed and it wasn't a problem. You could use one of their nap times to clean. Maybe you could have your husband um, entertain your kids while you're cleaning, like take them, you know, in a playroom or in their bedroom while you're cleaning the rest of the house. Um, that's another thing. But um, yeah, those are just some tips that you can try. Another thing that you could try, and I've done this in the past, um, you could break it up to, say you do your dusting on Monday, so you take like 15, 20 minutes to dust your house, and then on Tuesday you would do, you know, the Windex or glass cleaner on all the glass surfaces, and then um, Wednesday would be your floors, and then um, Thursday you could do like your bathrooms and your kitchen or something like that. Just break it up where you're just spending like 15 to 20 minutes um, five days a week and we can all fit it in somewhere even if we're really busy. So those are just some tips and I hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching.